So we have done exceedingly well. It's a lot of work and the committee has to be commended. Members of the National Anti-Money Laundering Oversight Committee, NAMLOC, and stakeholders came in for high praise following St. Lucia's successful application for re-rating of the Financial Action Task Force, FATF, recommendations. During the country's fourth round mutual evaluation process, St. Lucia was rated partially compliant and non-compliant for some of these recommendations. Juliana Alfred is a permanent secretary in the Attorney General's Chambers and the chair of NAMLOC. I'm very happy to report that in December of 2023, St. Lucia applied for re-rating for 22 recommendations. I think we would have hinted at that sometime um, before we went. And fortunately for us, which is an extraordinary feat in itself, St. Lucia was re-rated for 20 out of these 22 recommendations. 15 recommendations were rated compliant. Five were rated largely compliant and two remained partially compliant. The two partially compliant recommendations are Recommendation 15, which deals with new technologies, and Recommendation 38, which deals with mutual legal assistance. But overall, I think NAMLOC is very happy with the progress we've made. It was quite a bit of pressure. Um, I think people would have remembered the legislation that we would have had to amend and to pass, whether it be the Anti-Terrorism or Companies Act or money laundering um, legislation. And we in also introduced virtual assets. So it was quite a lot. And of course, we did the National Risk Assessment, which gave us a nice overview of St. Lucia's risk profile. NAMLOC remains vigilant in monitoring the efforts of agencies to address the outstanding deficiencies as the country prepares for the fifth round of mutual evaluation report. St. Lucia will be assessed for effectiveness moving forward. Yes, we have passed all of this legislation, but CFATF will now be looking at how effective we are in terms of the implementation of the legislation. Did we just pass the legislation or are we actually utilizing the legislation? So the work does not stop. Until and unless you haven't addressed all of your deficiencies, you will remain on that enhanced follow-up. So it is our responsibility to ensure that we continue to be as focused in relation to the six remaining that we have to deal with before um, we get into the fifth round. The NAMLOC chair disclosed that while St. Lucia works to address the deficiencies in the fourth round mutual evaluation report, the committee is simultaneously preparing for the fifth round, where the Caribbean Financial Action Task Force will be assessing St. Lucia's compliance with the 40 recommendations. For the National Competitiveness and Productivity Council, Glenn Simon reporting.